Welcome to this lecture on Data Lifecycle Management, or DL. This concept is like a roadmap for your data, tracking how it's created, used, stored, shared, and eventually deleted. Just like living things have a life cycle, so does data. Managing this life cycle properly is key to security, compliance, and cost control. The data life cycle describes the different stages that data passes through, from its creation to its final deletion. This isn't just a theoretical idea, it's a practical necessity. Without clear life cycle management, data accumulates endlessly, becomes outdated, or worse, gets leaked or misused. Life cycle management helps you answer. Where is this data? Who's using it? Is it still needed? There are typically six key stages. Data creation or capture. This is where it all begins. Think forms, sensors, or user input. Data storage. Data is saved in databases, data lakes, or file systems. Data usage. It's accessed, edited, and analyzed to drive business decisions. Data sharing. This includes sending reports, integrating systems, or sharing externally. Data archival. Infrequently used data is stored in cheaper, long-term storage. Data disposal. Finally, data is securely deleted when it's no longer needed. Every stage presents opportunities and risks. So, why does all this matter? First, storage costs add up, especially for old or unused data. Second, the more data you store, the bigger your risk if there's a breach. Third, compliance regulations like GDPR or HIPAA require strict data handling policies, including retention and deletion. And finally, good life cycle management ensures that the data you're working with is relevant, reliable, and timely. Data life cycle management isn't just about tools, it's also about policies. You need to define retention periods, how long different types of data should be kept. Set access controls to ensure only the right people can view or edit data. Create guidelines for archiving and deletion, and most importantly, audit and monitor these regularly. These procedures create a framework for responsible data handling. Technology plays a critical role. You can use data classification tools to tag and categorize data. Backup and archiving solutions help store older data safely. Tools that enforce retention policies can trigger automatic deletions or move data to archives based on rules. And audit logs provide accountability, who access what data, when and why. Of course, Managing data across its entire life cycle isn't easy. Many organizations struggle with inconsistent policies across teams. Some rely on manual processes instead of automation, which leads to mistakes. It's also hard to keep track of data locations, especially with cloud storage. And don't forget the ever-changing regulatory landscape. It's hard to keep up. So how do you do it well? First, automate life cycle transitions wherever possible. Second, collaborate with compliance and legal teams to set appropriate retention rules. Third, educate your employees. They are the first line of defense against bad practices. And finally, monitor and enforce policies consistently. Data governance without enforcement is just wishful thinking. Let's make this real. A company might automatically archive customer records that haven't been accessed in over five years. Another may delete obsolete system logs after 90 days. A healthcare provider may need to delete patient records after a legal retention period, in line with the GDPR's right to be forgotten. These are not rare exceptions, they are becoming the standard. In conclusion, data lifecycle management ensures that your data doesn't outstay its welcome. It helps you stay compliant, secure, and cost-effective, while making sure your data remains a valuable asset not a liability. As you build or improve your data governance strategy, DLM must be a core component. Because managing data well is managing your business well.